This video is a quick tip on how to optimize images for the web. Nobody's going to really stay around and it's been proven in studies about if your websites are slow, people just move on to something else. And one massive uh, problem is people put images that the files are too big. So that's the takes so long to load. And this is uh, even though with new broadband speeds and that, it, the problem isn't as bad as it used to be say 10 years ago or even five years ago but it still is so i'm just using this website as an illustration this is one of mine um, and it's about the background and if we just uh, this is quite a slow website this and it's deliberately done that way so if i just copy that and we go into something called page speed insights and this is by google developers uh, for web designers or anybody that wants to know how, how fast their website is and all you do is you put your um, your website address on there and you just this is the analyze button i'll put this uh the site of this on on the description as well um, where to go for it so as we see there you can't really get any slower than that it's four out of a hundred and that is absolutely ridiculous on a desktop it is uh six out of a hundred just marginally better it usually is better on a, a desktop and the, probably the reason for that is because they are more powerful so anyway mobile it just doesn't tell you about page speeds though it tells you a little bit more than that and it's certainly um what what they look like on a mobile and a desktop and this is about also about user experience so this uh google developers is quite a good site i always think and uh, on this it's got user experience 100 out of 100 uh, which i always try to aim for around 95 out of 100 and this i've done pretty well with that one but um certainly not on the speeds i haven't so the way to do that is i've already put the image which this is the background image and if we go to file image information and up the top it has the uh size which is 5.3 megabytes which is way way too too much you really need it down to i would say 300 kilobytes and under so if we just go there okay on this um you use your whatever photo editor you use but this is zona this is my preferred one and this has a, a nice little tool called save web jpeg so all you're doing here is uh, basically these up these make it optimized really um anyway so i just put the background um i'm just gonna put that on the desktop put put it as background save and background already exists yes and this tells you convert to web jpeg and that's got the size there also the quality um on on this you can do quality a little bit less if you want to but any um editor will ask you for quality and if it's a 95 to 100 that's where a lot of your um your, your megabytes and stuff are going you've got to knock the quality down a bit for that to uh to knock your size down so when you reply on this um you just do this come on and there it is so now we're looking for image information and now it's 318 kilobytes and um, for a background i wouldn't say that was too bad i would like it slightly under but then you're going to get a lot of pixelation which for a background image that's not really what the main thing is about so it doesn't really matter um so anyway we're gonna i'm just going to put that that background up um on here and which will overwrite the one that's there so we just go to background which is 317 kilobytes open uh, upload uh, to the site okay upload it completed okie dokie so if i just do that okay so go back to page speeds same thing analyze it remember it was 4 to 100 now it's 51 out of 100 so that's going to remarkably by just optimizing your images 
So the speed there is is very good. Um, the desktop version is always more 60 to 100. It's still not, um, you know, you can still always do better, but the actual image isn't the problem now. And this is really a good tool to use. And also another thing that you can do is with that, it's called background JPEG. And you can actually use this by just going, getting the, the web address and just going something like background.jpg if you know the, um, the image name and we just analyze that so now how you know that this is pretty good um, for example user experience it's got 89 out of 100 now yeah, it's not bad uh, it's got show how to fix and it gives you a few of these uh, things uh, but just for quickness I'm just doing that as a this is an illustration and now it's 99 out of 100 for speed so basically you know that it's not your background image that's causing the problems it's something else uh, before, if, if I was uh, using the one, uh, for example, that was only 4 or 100, um, that speed would be right down. So this is basically how you use and optimize your images for faster web browsing, not for you, just it's, it's for everybody. It gets people for people who have businesses, perhaps. Um, people are not going to stay around, they're going to go elsewhere. If you don't get your, your optimized images and uh, people who are photographers, um, it's definitely better to put up a, a, th a quality still, but just uh, just under these megabytes. You really need them. 300 and down hour obviously is a, a good uh, a good guide. Less if you can, but uh, you see lots and lots of sites where they have things like 800 kilobytes. That's too much. You need them down from that. So I hope you've learned something from this, and uh, thank you for watching, and thank you for listening.